The following interview was conducted with Darren Dawson and Kelly May for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on November 4th, 2017 at Boilermaker Station in the Purdue Memorial Union. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. So to get us started, could each of you tell me uh, what years you graduated, uh, what you studied while you were at Purdue? All right. I graduated in 1990, and I studied nursing. Okay. I graduated in 1989, and I studied OLS and technical graphics. Okay. Uh, did, did you know each other while you were students here? Yes. So, I grew up in West Lafayette. <laughs> okay. So, I was a townie uh-huh. and uh, lived on campus one year, uh, but we met in high school, and then he was at Purdue a year before I was, obviously. Okay. Great. Um, since you were local, I'm guessing you might not remember the first time you saw Purdue. It was part of your life. <laughs> it was part of my life. Uh-huh. So it was uh, really, it was the only place I applied to. So I was less than six months old and ate at the Triple X. So I mean, <laughs> my father grew up in West Lafayette, or went to Lafayette Jeff, so he was a local. Mm-hmm. It was in your blood. <laughs> uh, while you were students, what activities were you involved in? So I was in the Purdue All-American Marching Band, mm-hmm. um, the Association for Women Students. I was at Alpha Gamma Delta. What else did I do? And studied a lot. <laughs> of course. I was a member of Kappa Delta Rho and did a lot of officiating at the CORAC and tried to study as much as I could. <laughs> <laughs> It can be tough when there's so much there to, do. So many other activities to do. <laughs> Did you have any favorite places on campus? <laughs> My favorite place on campus, it's no longer here. It was the Stripe Shop. It was here in the Purdue Memorial Union. They had the best breadsticks. Ah. Uh, a lot of time at the Corec and Harry's and Nick's. <laughs> <laughs> I studied in the Stripe Shop. <laughs> Did you have any places you like to study? Um, just in my room. <laughs> I didn't go to the library or anything like that. So. Did either of you live on campus or did you commute? So I just lived in the house one year. Mm-hmm. Um, otherwise, I lived at home. Okay. Yeah, I lived in the at KDRs for a year and a half, and then I moved right behind Chauncey Hill in apartments. Okay. Did you have a job while you were a student? I did not. I volunteered at Home Hospital, which is also not here. I worked um, at uh, the pharmacy across from McDonald's, and, which was ours at the time, and then a lot of the co rec work for mm-hmm. refereeing. Okay. When you think back about being a, a Purdue student, do you have any particular memories that stand out to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, the uh, Old Oak and Bucket game where I lost my keys when Rod Woodson blocked the uh, field goal. That's that was a memory because my mom and dad had to drive new keys to me at two o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's because <laughs> I couldn't get my car, or my room, or anything else. <laughs> sure, they liked that. Yeah, I looked for them. I swear, I looked for them. I just couldn't find them. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny because my probably my best memory on campus was also old old can bucket game, but it was at IU. And it was my senior year, um, and the band always, we'd turn our hats around when we win a game, but those were kind of lean years, um, so we didn't turn our hats around very much. But So the last game of my senior year, I was able to turn my hat around at IU. So that was cool. That is very cool. Do you, do you both still live locally? We live in Fishers. Fishers, okay. Do you come back to campus very often? Yeah, so I have a freshman... Who, who's at the Honors College. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. So she forgets stuff a lot, so we come back. <laughs> oh, <on> purpose. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you try to attend sporting events when you come back? Yes. Yeah. So this is our third, fourth football game this year? Third football game. I haven't been to a basketball game yet, but there has only been two, so <laughs> we'll get there. Yep. <laughs> and we go to the baseball games a lot, yes. too. Wonderful. And obviously, being part of the band, you attended regularly as a student as well. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Good. Every Saturday, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you wanted to or not. <laughs> what about Purdue do you think has changed the most since you were here as students? Buildings. Buildings. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Everything I remember used to be there is something different, something new. Um, supposedly better, but I mean, I have memories of <laughs> when it was back in the mid to late 80s. So um, this congestion is a lot different. Um, uh, we've been through the changing of the one-way streets to the two-way streets, and that's kind of odd still. But, mm -hmm. um, the things that have stayed consistent, the union is nice, my fraternity not changing is nice, but all the new construction is really neat as well. I mean, the new football stadium, basketball uh, complex is really neat as well. Mm -hmm. Same. Same answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I went for my daughter's uh, interview or for her college tour, and... I went to school here for four years. I grew up here. I don't know where I'm at. Everything just feels, feels different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the moving of the Grand Prix track kind of threw me off. But that was, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's necessary. Uh huh. Did you participate in the Grand Prix? I did two years. I didn't drive, but I was part of building the cart. So. Uh -huh. I was a queen candidate. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> I still have the picture. <laughs> Have you ever been to any of the Grand Prix since then? I have not been since they moved the track. Okay. I know it's behind the baseball mm -hmm. stadium. Yeah, out complex. away from campus. Because when we go to the baseball bit. games, we can hear them practicing on the track. <laughs> Is there anything about Purdue that you think doesn't get enough attention? Well, we live around Indianapolis, and... Uh, IU gets all the attention there and it's very frustrating for us not being that far away from campus and like there's a roadblock or something I mean nothing Purdue gets into Indianapolis hmm. well, and it's also the media uh, is all IU around Indianapolis okay. the mm -hmm. IU star we call it the IU star because that's all they report on they mm -hmm. don't report enough on Purdue but uh, I think they've been talked about enough of it, and that's not going to change. So. I mean, all I get is that there's a Mitch Daniels um, radio ad right now mm -hmm. for the liberal arts program, and my daughter is a liberal arts major. And, but that's all that Purdue get that gets down to that area. Mm -hmm. We try. We do our best. <laughs> <laughs> but we're only two people. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> it can be tough to get the word out. Mm -hmm. We have good neighbors, though. <laughs> IU neighbors across the street. Well, IU neighbors across the street, but we also have Purdue neighbors. True, so true, true, true. Good. And next door. I guess I've asked you most of my questions, <laughs> but, you know, just as you're thinking back, is there anything else about Purdue um, or about your time at Purdue that, that you'd like to share? Any memories we've jogged as we've been talking about it? No, it's just it's just good to be back. And yeah, it's always good to come back. I mean, the, even though a lot of things have changed, it's still Purdue. <laughs> yeah, it's great to have a child on campus. That is pretty much my dream come true. And I have one more who should be coming here since she's going to be studying engineering. So mm -hmm. uh, my brother works on campus, so it's, it's just a great place to be. And it has continued to exceed expectations. Wonderful. Well, thank you for talking to me today. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs>